Greetings to all and sundry Johnson and Wheels here. Time for another chances view, a little chat from the cave about projects, what's been going on, and all the rest of it and what's coming up. So, projects, well, pushing ahead with my Falklands Wall build, the uh, Sea Harrier and the Harrier GR3, so that's the Airfix Sea Harrier, coming along quite well, just really on the last phases of it, doing it in a flying position, so it'll be pointing upwards like that. Very nice kit, the Airfix kit, I love how it's gone together. Uh, the, the GR3 is the Italieri kit, and I'm going to be decaling and doing detailed parts for this next. Um, <laughs> the FX kit is substantially better. I know this is an old Italieri kit. Uh, fit of the canopy is an absolute nightmare. Um, but that said, it's coming out. It's looking like a GR3, what it's supposed to look like. So I'm reasonably happy with that bit of tidying up here and there to do then the decals and some weathering um, so yeah ordnance and that lot is being painted up uh, the display base is ready for these and I've done this sort of inspired by the deck of the HMS Hermes I've taken a slightly different approach here in that I have sprayed the deck features and the roundel directly onto the polycarbonate and I've put the background label and a bit of background is uh, behind on the MDF board so that's like kept a window so first I'm actually spraying and painting on the polycarbonate um, and then the uh, GR3 will be mounted positioned there and the Sea Harrier will be sort of positioned in this area with brass rods securing uh, both aircraft so it can be uh, hung up again on the wall. I can also with this kind of display sit flat or slightly angled on a table at a model show so there's going to be the build vid for this and I'm quite happy with the way that's progressing. Uh, this is for the uh, group build groups uh, century of conflict and the build after that is going to be the harrier and the sea harrier for the balkans campaign and i'm going to be using the two kits in this box that i got from hannon's so i've got the two exact two aircraft i need i have to check markings but i have got some reference material that i've been digging into um i have a an osprey book on the Balkans campaign so I'm finding useful info in here and being able to do a bit of uh, research online as well so with that material in place I'm reasonably happy uh, with the way things are going I'll be looking forward to getting into the next build and thinking again how I'm going I'm going to use another picture frame build same size as uh, this one uh, but sort of take maybe a slightly different approach to it one that was maybe closer to that of the Belize build um, less certainly not doing a carry deck for this one so that will take me through to the end of the group build um, but the Harrier story is not quite finished yet now I've had in my stash for quite a while this the Marine Corps two seat Harrier I Chester Model Center well no I picked this up from Hannans and I got this from Chester Model Center I asked them to see if they could order me one or put one aside for me so I will be doing after I've done the Balkans Harriers whether or not it fits in with the time scale of the group build group 
I am just going to do the Marine Corps Harrier, uh, AVA-8B, AVA-8A, and the uh, AVA-8 and uh, BT, the uh, trainer version as well, and I will be putting them on something representing the flight deck of the uh, a USS Salt ship. That's the goal for that, and it's going to be done as another one that I can hang up on the wall. So that's where we are, rather losing myself in these builds, and after that I need to just build some civilian subjects or something else. Um, having a good time, uh, seems to be a lot of new uh, modelling channels up and about I'm following and having fun with. So, uh, that's just a little bit of an update. Uh, there needs to be another chance of you going up of the uh, Oswestry Street Steam and Vintage Vehicle Fair where Rex and Wings Model Club had a table, um, which was great fun as well. So that's another video due to come up. Um, but the bench and everything else is nicely cluttered. Um, having real fun with this series of builds. Uh, enjoying the subject matter, enjoying the focus on the subject matter and having fun with different ways of displaying things so uh, that's where we're up to nothing too dramatic or too out of the ordinary to uh, report on um, but I'm going to get through these Harrier bills and just so I feel I've got this complete body of work to my level uh, complete I might add in a GR9 later on, if I spot a kit I'll get it, but there won't be a huge rush to do it, probably one will be added at some stage, and there is sort of space allocated, as I say, there's an area of wall that the wife has said I can have as a Harrier wall, so uh, she's been very helpful there, uh, been helped for a while by Mixi the Cat, who often takes up residence here but I think today in this lovely summer's day she's making the most of the sun as I should be as well but I think the cat has the right idea this time rather than me being holed up in a modeling room but nonetheless having fun and how we have fun is does vary somewhat so thank you guys for watching and I will wish you all the best God bless take care and happy modeling